It was quite the talk of social media last night. This meteor streaking across the sky, casting a blue glow as it darted, captured on home surveillance and dash cameras around nine last night. Tonight, we are getting answers about what exactly so many of you experienced last night. The fireball was spotted from several states, but it's believed to have entered the atmosphere somewhere over Troy, Missouri, and then traveled west 30 to 40 miles before going down near Wellsville. News 4's Russell Kinsall spoke with an expert to learn more about the meteor. Russell is live downtown. Right now, plans are in the works to go hunting for what's left of that meteor that was seen streaking across the night sky last night. If you saw the video from that Earth cam in the Metro East looking back at the arch and you saw the light across the sky, it seemed like that meteor was traveling right over St. Louis, but it turns out it was a much bigger event than that. There were reported sightings of the fireball in eight states. Washington University Assistant Professor of Physics, Dr. Ryan Ogligori, studies meteorites, and he says this one was no small pebble. When it was entering the Earth's atmosphere, I would say five feet or so. It's hard to tell. It depends on the density of the object and the exact speed it's going. It's estimated the meteor was traveling over 44,000 miles an hour. And yes, that's faster than the speed of sound. That's why some reported hearing a boom. That was a sonic boom. As the thing was entering, it was moving much, much faster than the speed of sound in the atmosphere. Uh, so that was a sonic, sonic boom of this uh, relatively large object uh, crashing through the atmosphere. The meter was going so fast that the pressure of the air against the rock created so much heat that it quickly was vaporizing the outer layers. The color given off gives scientists like Ogliori an idea of the metals that make up the meteor. A lot of these large meteoroids uh, do have some material that makes it to the ground. I'd say 80 to 90 percent of that material probably vaporized in the atmosphere during that spectacular light show that we all saw. According to the sightings, it's believed the meteor entered the atmosphere somewhere around Troy, Missouri, and traveled about 30 to 40 miles west before it slowed enough to stop burning and then fall to the ground. I have a colleague at NASA who actually uses uh, Doppler weather radar to track, instead of falling raindrops, to track falling rocks from events like this, and he has an idea of where it might be. But Ogliori admits that it's not going to be that easy to find one rock in the Missouri countryside, even using Doppler radar to try to figure out where it landed. But hey, in his line of work, it's worth the effort, right? Here's an interesting fact he told us. There are no recorded instances anywhere of a meteor striking a human. So we got that going for us. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall News 4. That's very reassuring to know. Thank you, Russell. A lot of you sent us your videos of the meteor last night. And we gathered those together, posted some of them on our KMOV News app and on our website, KMOV.com.